Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this is a little bit different for my channel specifically. However, it is a haul, it's a collective haul, and it is in the theme of Twilight. So if you want to see all of the things I have purchased recently that are all things Twilight, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so if you watched my last Get Ready With Me, I talk, I, I, I imagine that video is going to come first. This one might come first depending on how quickly I get everything edited. But I recently read all of the Twilight books for the first time ever. I had only ever read the first one before when I was younger. Um, when I was in middle school, that was around the time the books came out. And I never read the others for some reason. And then with the new release of Midnight Sun back in August, I was like, you know what? Let me see what all the hype's about and let me read it. And boy, did I get obsessed. Obsessed. That's how I am. Usually when I get like fixated on a certain thing like Full House or just something that I love, I go all in. So I ended up picking up a bunch of things off of eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and I have quite the haul here. So the first thing I did get is this t-shirt which says Team Edward and it is in the Twilight font and I got this on Etsy. Everything that I can link below, I will. Um, some of this stuff is either not linkable or I got it on eBay, but I will try to, uh, everything will be listed at least, so if you want to search it on your own, you can. So I guess I'll start with the Etsy things. The next thing I got on Etsy was these notebooks and I will explain. So these notebooks were actually made using DVD covers. So let me pull one out for you. I actually haven't even opened them out of the packaging. So as you can see they are made with the actual covers from the like Blu-rays and then you also get this little bookmark that is like the side paneling that says Breaking Dawn Part 2 and then it even has the back on this side. And I mean, I will say that the notebook itself is not like a super, like it's nothing fancy. It's, you know, it's kind of, I don't really love how the rings don't go all the way. Like they're only in the middle, but I still love these. These are definitely a cute little collector's item. I don't know if I will actually like write in them or if I'll just keep them as is. You know, they're not, I mean, you can tell it's just a laminated cover and it was just put together in a notebook, but... I really think they're cute and if you are a fan or a collector of like Twilight stuff then you would probably like these. I will quickly go ahead and like show you all of them. Now honestly these I probably won't use. I really wasn't, probably won't use it. Then here is Breaking Dawn Part 1. Again it's just the DVD covers and you can buy these individually or you can buy all of them as like a grouping. I just went for the, all of them because I wanted the complete set. You have Eclipse. I know I'm going backwards. The OG Twilight. Now I will say the lamination is like a little bit, it almost looks kind of grainy. I don't know. I don't know how well you'll actually be able to like see it on camera, but it's not bad. I mean, like I said, these aren't like, you know, super, super like high quality, I guess you could say, like as far as the lamination and stuff goes, but I do think it's really great and I still gave it five stars because it's Twilight. This is New Moon. So that is all of the notebooks. Like I said, I don't know what I will actually like write in them, if I will or if I'll just keep them as like a collector's piece. Then also from Etsy, and this is probably one of my favorite Etsy purchases, is this beautiful Starbucks tumbler thing. So it has like this little decal of like Edward and Bella and then it says, and so the lion fell in love with the lamb. That's like one of my favorite lines from the series. And then it has like the Breaking Dawn pieces, a wolf, the ribbon from Eclipse. I think that's what that one's from. Then you have this, this decal, the apple, of course it's on the cover of Twilight. I think this is just so well done and it's the Starbucks cup and I love I collect cups. I love cups. I also have my mom making me a cup that is Twilight themed. She is very crafty and she can, she's really good with the cups. So basically it's like an all glitter cup and then she puts the decals on that I want and they're actually going to be images from the movie. So once I get that I'll probably feature that like in a video down the road to show you but 
I really, really love this and it'll be perfect for like iced coffee or anything I want to put in it. Then the last thing I picked up from Etsy and I actually, so I'm, I'm going to be sending my grandma a care package of Twilight stuff because she is, has been obsessed with Twilight. I guess maybe I should have like watched it a long time ago and read it, but she absolutely loves Twilight and I got her some of these as well. Now these were really cool. They're these film cells. So basically you have one for each movie and up here is a little film cell and each one is different and I guess they say they only make 50 of each movie. So like there's only 50 Twilight ones that they will make. That is what it says on the Etsy shop. I, again, I will link it below. They are based in the UK, but it came, I think I ordered these I want to say I ordered them like last week. I'll try to throw the date up on when I ordered them and I received them a week later and that's from the UK so I felt like that was pretty good. So anyway, each film is different. So like even though I got two Twilight, the film up at the top, are they are different. And they all do feature like main things. I can't really show you on camera obviously but so here is, sorry the glare, here's the Twilight. New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part 1, I love this photo, I love that, and Breaking Dawn Part 2. I want to get, like, um, they do sell these picture frames that are like five, five along, so I want to put these in there. I did message the shop owner to confirm that these would fit in a regular picture frame, and they will, but they do have, like, it's like a board, so... They're very sturdy. So like I said, I did pick up a set for my grandma too. I think she's really gonna like these and I'm sure she won't have these because these are obviously from Etsy. So I'm very excited to be sending her that package. My grandparents, all of them are very important people in my life and my grandma, the one that I'm sending these to, she is the reason that I'm even like able to do a lot of the things that I have been throughout my life, you know, always has been very supportive. I love her to death. I love all my grandparents so much. They are literally all like second parents to me. So I want to just kind of give back a little bit. And I think she'll be really surprised because I'm not going to tell her that I'm sending them and she doesn't watch my channel. So I don't have to worry about her seeing. But anyway, that is it for the Etsy stuff that I picked up. Then this I so I actually was looking up stuff about Twilight and I found the Facebook group the Forever and Forks or the Forever Forever Twilight and Forks like official Facebook page and I saw people talking about this magazine and luckily it is still on display until 10 19 20 so check your local grocery store or bookstore wherever you can get magazines I found this at my local grocery store it is a Twilight like 15th anniversary it's just a bunch of different things about the movie, about the actors. It's really, really cool. It's definitely something you'd want as a, you know, if you collect these types of things. So you can't buy it online as far as I know. I think I did find it on Amazon actually, but it's a little bit more expensive than if you just find it in store. But I'll go ahead and link the Amazon link if I can find it again in case you are interested. So I also got my grandma one of these. I'm going to be sending her that too. I picked up two. Then... I guess we'll jump to eBay now. So one of the things I won on eBay, and I got these for a steal. The actual price was like $1.99 plus shipping, and it is in the package official sealed Twilight journals. So there are four keepsake journals in the collectible tin. They are still unopened. So each journal is the book cover. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. And I do think I am going to take this out of the plastic. I don't intend to ever get rid of any of this stuff, so I want to actually enjoy it. I know like some collectors out there are probably screaming, no, don't do that, because I know with collectibles it's better to keep them in the original packaging. But, I mean, this literally, I bought it for $1.99, so I don't think, even if I kept it in the packaging, that I would someday be able to get hundreds or thousands for it. So I'd rather just enjoy them and see how they look. But I was very excited to be able to get new in the packaging and again I got this on eBay then the next thing I got on eBay were these official movie posters so they are it's a mini set of all five theatrical posters I'm pretty sure I can link this eBay posting because the seller I believe did have like it's like not a bid it's like just one of those buy it now type things but it's it's like a shop I don't know if that makes sense 
but basically it is just 8 by 10 photo or movie posters and I was really excited about this because it is literally the movie poster it even says you know in theaters on a certain date so I'm really excited I think I'm gonna put these honestly I would love to frame them and hang them up but I just don't think I'll have the wall space for that but I'm probably gonna put them in a binder and like sheet protectors so that I can keep them protected so there's that one here's Eclipse again it's the official movie poster then you have New Moon. Then we have Breaking Dawn Part 1. And then we have Breaking Dawn Part 2. I think these are just really cool because, again, it's, it's the movie posters. So it's like what they would have had up at the movies at the time. So I think that's really, really fun. So I actually... I was pretty surprised to find these new in the packaging as well, but they are the Twilight card game. So I have Twilight, New Moon, and Eclipse. And now I looked to see if they made a Breaking Dawn one, but I couldn't find anything about that. And that really does kind of annoy me because it's not like complete. So I wonder if maybe they just decided that these weren't very popular. You know, after you would think after three that they would have had one. Let me know if you're a Twilight fan and you were into it back when it first came out. Did they have a Breaking Dawn card game and maybe just nobody on eBay or the internet has it posted? I couldn't find anything about a Breaking Dawn card game. So these are all new in the package. I do plan to open them and maybe play them. Maybe when I go up to see my grandma next, I will get her to play with me because like I said, she is a Twilight fan. I don't really have anybody in my life that knows those Twilight liked enough to play a game so I am very excited about these and again they're all new and they're all the official like they're official it's the official games you know so I was really excited to get these brand new now I know there were several listings on eBay of like some that were opened and then just some that are brand new so if you want to find these you know just search Twilight card game or Twilight game and you will find them then I got two other things that I'm really excited about from eBay and I was so surprised to be able to find these as well. So they are both sealed, new in the packaging and I do plan to actually do these as well. Like I said, I have no intention to resell and I got all of these things for a really good deal. I mean, I guess there's probably not like a super high demand for like Twilight things. So I did get them all for like probably a few dollars each. I think these two next two things are like 12 doll. Actually, I think I got one of them for like seven. So anyway, let me just show you what it is. It is a puzzle. I got a Twilight puzzle and it says and so the lion fell in love with the lamb I absolutely had to have this one because as I mentioned I just love that quote and this is just so cool it's a thousand pieces I'm pretty sure yeah a thousand pieces and I do plan to put it together and kind of play with it you know maybe when I get bored put it together and then I also got this puzzle it is just Edward and it's new moon that's the movie that it's from and again, a thousand pieces. I was super stoked to find these still in the packaging because personally, if I if it was only used, I don't think I would have bought them because you never know if a piece is missing and the person selling it, they might not realize if a piece is missing. So I didn't want to take a chance because that would just drive my OCD nuts if I put together a puzzle and there was a piece missing. So I'm really excited about these and I can't wait to put them together. So I believe that was it for my eBay, now for Amazon. So on Amazon I did pick up the Twilight Director's Notebook. It's the story of how we made the movie based on the novel by Stephanie Meyer. So I have not read this yet, it is, like I said, I've been very busy, um, with our, I said that in my get ready with me, but I've been very busy, I haven't been able to read as much, but soon I should be, but it just basically has like, it's just everything about the movie and how they made it, so I'm very excited to read this. And I believe I got this, I'm pretty sure I got this, oh, it's used like new. But I, I will link these because they definitely still had these on there. So I'm very excited about that. And then I also picked up the Illustrated Movie Companions. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It's very annoying because they did not do Breaking Dawn Part 2. I even Googled it and apparently even at the time, the author of these illustrated guides, they did not do Part 2. And it's like, why would you do that when you literally did Twilight through part one of Breaking Dawn? Why not just run it home and do the last one? So that really annoys me that it's not like a complete set, but I still wanted them anyway. I haven't read any of them yet, but they do look amazing. So this is the Complete Illustrated Movie Companion for Twilight. 
Then we have New Moon. We have Eclipse. And we have Breaking Dawn Part 1. So basically it just shows you and talks about different things for the movies. I have not actually read these yet either. But I got all of these used on Amazon and they honestly all look amazing. There's no markings and I'm very, very excited about those. And then the last Twilight items that I got, I actually made on Vistaprint. And I made this bookmark and I'm going to send one to my grandma as well. So on the front it has all of the Cullens and Bella and Edward. And on the back I put their wedding photo. It's so pretty. These turned out really nicely and it was like you get five of them for like it was not that expensive. And then I also made my own notebook and this was before I found the ones on Etsy but I, I really like this. Honestly, this, this one does look a little bit better, I think, as far as like the lamination goes. But I just made this on Vistaprint and it came out really, really nice and the notebook is a nice quality. So I'm going to be sending one of these to my grandma as well. So anyway, that completes all of my Twilight merch that I recently purchased. I know I probably look insane, but I love collecting things to associated with things that I love. So if you're interested in any of these items, I will have everything at least listed down below so you know what everything is and I will link as much as possible. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!